Welcome to the sunny, hopefully not too windy, and for the moment, quiet rectory back porch. Sometimes it seems that saints find us. Now, anyone who takes St. Therese as a patron knows exactly what I'm talking about, uh, but other saints do it too. Uh, my experience lately is a um, surprising discovery of some Salesian saints. And weirdly enough, it has to do with this thing sitting over here. This uh, dune buggy sand rail thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, to be transparent at the, beginning, at the beginning, I did not build this. I got it this way. Um, I've updated a few, a few wires and, and stuff like that. Uh, made a, a few little tweaks to help make it run, hopefully. Um, but I didn't do most of what you see here. Uh, this was somebody else's hard work and la labor of love. Uh, though I'm getting the fun of discovering uh, how they did it. Um, it didn't come with any instructions, so me and the internet and repair manuals are having a lot of fun. Um, just for context, it's a, a 1.6 liter, I think. Your classic air-cooled Volkswagen engine attached to this uh, nice tube-frame chassis here. Uh, it's got some flat tires right now and something like that, but hopefully it'll go. Uh, but this does, in a very curious way, tie into uh, St. Francis de Sales and St. John Bosco. But let's see if it runs. Hopefully it'll go. I don't know, it's, it, it's hit or miss sometimes. Let's find out. Yeah, I took the battery up. There we go. Woo! Okay, it does work, look at that. Well, hey, that was fun. Uh, glad I had to wait till today to do that, though. Yesterday we were having adoration in the church. I probably still scared the office ladies, but at least uh, we're not in the middle of adoration right now, so hopefully nothing uh, too pious and holy was disturbed. So, what does that have to do with the saints? Now that we know that it works, that's exciting. Um, so this thing, dune buggy, you want to call it, but I don't like the phrase dune buggy for reasons. So I was looking around for something else to call it. And it's like, ah, DB, Don Bosco. That works. Don Bosco worked with youth, young men. Uh, they would have liked this kind of thing. They didn't have Volkswagen air-cooled engines in the 1800s when Don Bosco was ministering. Uh, but I got to think that uh, he would have liked this sort of thing or, you know, wouldn't have been afraid of this sort of thing in his ministry. Uh, so I don't have this, quite the same ministry as him, but uh, there is, uh, I think that joy can be, can be connected there. About the same time, though, uh, really un unrealizing it, uh, not thinking of the connection at all, I started looking at St. Francis de Sales because, um, and with apologies to all those about whom I, to whom I've complained about being so busy, uh, but really uh, there's a lot that's going on. Of course, most of it's sort of um, on me because I can't leave well enough alone on things, but I was looking for a saint who uh, persevered in holiness despite uh, you know, setbacks and difficulties, but also um, just had a lot going on. And Francis de, uh, Francis de Sales came to mind a lot. So uh, I began uh, reading a, a biography about him, among us, other things. But then in the introduction to the biography, it was referenced you know, that St. John, that St. Uh, Don Bosco, inspired by Francis de Sales, formed the Salesians. And so uh, it, I did not even mean that to, mean that to happen, but uh, I think it worked out well. And to continue that, you know, again, the, the saints finding you, those two saints, I think, are going to help me, uh, you know, maybe guide me in a way, give me some inspiration for what I want to do with this. You see, in the Salesian spirituality, this author says that God is sought in the ordinary events of life, where the promise, where the profane, rather, is not separated from the sacred. And to me, that means that we can have fun tinkering with a uh, Dodge Yield Volkswagen engine, you know, I as a priest can do that, and that's not a separation or a problem from uh, my priestly ministry. No, it's not 
quote unquote part of my priestly ministry. Like nothing about being a priest uh, requires that I that I work on an old uh, engine on the rectory back porch. Which, for anybody worried, this is not going to stay here, right? It's just <laughs> just where it is right now. This is not the permanent parking spot for this. That can be resolved later. But um, what it is is that. You know, life is full of lots of fun, joyful things, and we can celebrate those things, take part in those things, you know, go to football games, what have you, and that's not this separate world apart from matters of faith. Now, you don't have to always, like, make an analogy of, well, okay, well, this is like Jesus because. No, everyone kind of hates that, right? Um, but it doesn't mean, or rather what it does mean is that, uh, you know, I think it's appropriate that I can, you know, talk about things that I enjoy, uh, share with things with you. Uh, also talk about, of course, faith and religion and all that stuff, because um, those are the more important things. Um, but it doesn't mean that we have to be exclusively talk about church stuff. I want to keep going on how the saints uh, sort of make themselves known, though. Uh, you know, so I had this discussion and or this you know sort of realization of the connection between Saint John on Saint. Don Bosco and St. Francis de Sales, uh, excitement of getting this going, you know, named the Don Bosco, if you will, um, and then read this de Sales book, discovered that the spirituality of the Salesians, which I hadn't expected to find, uh, sort of coincides with um, having fun with worldly stuff, but in a way that still references the Lord and sort of glorifies that as well. Uh, and then I was at a priest event two days ago at the, at the uh, pastoral center, which is formerly St. Francis de Sales Seminary, asked for the priest for confession, and in his counsel for confession, he referenced St. Don Bosco. I hadn't told him any of this stuff. He just, on his own, to the Holy Spirit perhaps, referenced St. Don Bosco. Uh, on the drive home after that, I was listening to an episode of the Catholic Man Show, and uh, Adam and Dave were talking about um, this balance between, you know, yes, Dad should be the one who... Uh, guides his family and talks about the faith and the kids should know about Jesus and to love Jesus from their dad and dad should you know catechize them but dad has to remember to do the fun stuff too you know dad can't just uh, just drill the faith into them because then it'll be like oh all dad does is talk about church well uh, again I, I literally laughed out loud when I heard them talking about that because that's exactly what I was sort of wrestling with with, with this video context and sort of sharing other things that I enjoy uh, so, uh, Father, Dad, uh, I think it, it, this seems to be affirmation the Lord is giving that, uh, yeah, you know, Father Kelly can talk about stuff that's not just church and religion. You know, everyone should know that that's the, real, that's the really important stuff, but we can have fun with other things too, so it's not just, uh, Father just always talks about the catechism, right? We can talk about lots of stuff. We can have fun with other things too. You know, the, whole, the whole deal of it reminds me of uh, the, the famous line from St. Saint Irenaeus, you know, the glory of God is man fully alive. You know, not that we make God, but that uh, God is shown forth in man living life fully. And so uh, you know, glorifying him by doing, uh, by embracing in a, in a both and kind of way, um, the good things in life while remembering where they come from. Uh, then also, uh, yeah, so driving back, we had that. And then I got back home and looked at the coming episodes. I'm way behind. Uh, the next episode that's coming out, you know, whatever second week of September that we're on, it's Intro to the Devout Life, written by St. Francis de Sales. So it was like, okay, all right, all right. Just heaping upon heaping upon heaping of things of Don Bosco and Francis de Sales showing up all around me all of a sudden. And uh, I'm sure as I finish, you know, keep reading uh, this book on St. Francis de Sales and, you know, read Intro to the Devout Life, hopefully next, I'll probably discover more and more. So it's been exciting to, to find those saintly connections, um, really things that I, that I couldn't have planned. Um, and I look forward to diving into that and, and um, you know, not that I plan to become a Salesian, uh, but to learn, apparently I have much more to learn from them. I, it's sort of a, seems to be a well that I didn't know was there uh, to do more of sharing the things that I enjoy in life that may not be strictly priestly, uh, but that still can uh, help uh, engage with the faith and, and glorify God in all of them. So if you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm sure I'll share uh, more of this thing as it hopefully uh, runs more. 
Um, it doesn't even idle right now. I didn't turn it off earlier, it just died. So long ways to go. So don't worry, um, I'm not gonna run a mechanic show, but I, you know, be fun to share with. Uh, so please subscribe and share if you like this video. Um, and of course, ask the intercession of the saints. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, pray for us. Saint Don Bosco, pray for us. Saint Francis de Sales, pray for us. Blessed Stanley Rother, pray for us.